Hey everyone, how's it going? Hope you're all keeping well and sane with all this isolation that's going on and the craziness that we're experiencing in the world right now. I'm going to take this opportunity to um, talk through some of my bikes that I've got at the moment. I've got some really cool bikes I'm really lucky to have. Um, I've always loved bikes since being a little kid and I enjoy racing and riding but I just also enjoy you know building and looking at bikes as well so I'm going to run you through a few of them and see what you think. So this is my Newt Proof Reactor 290. This is a stunning looking bike I think. I um, love the colour of the frame and and it's matched up with some awesome components. Uh, I'll give you a little run through this bike. So this, as I say, this is a size medium 290 reactor. Um, it's got some of the, I'd say the coolest wheels I've ever seen. These custom D-Max Pro Sam Hill edition. If you just zoom in on the, on the polished hubs there with the decals to match on the rims and the black aluminium spokes. I think these are real stunners. And I've got some Michelin Force um, cross-country tyres on there. I've got this bike set up cross-country. It's got the new RockShox SID 120mm forks on there. And it's got a 47.5 stroke Super Deluxe shock, which gives it 120mm of travel on the back. I've got the reverb on there. I've got a new um, Newt Proof saddle. That's a prototype saddle at the moment. It's really comfortable. Finished off with all the um, SRAM components. Um, this bike's really, really light and fast. It's weighing in at um, just about 30 pounds with the pedals and the one-up components tool, water bottle on there. Super nice bike. Then I've got my 2020 Team Newtproof Mega. Um, this is the new 290 uh, Mega carbon front end aluminium rear end um, this is the first time i've had one of these this year uh, the team were riding on these last towards the end of last year i really like them um, this is size medium um, it's in the team yellow which looks really cool matched up with some 180 lyric forks i've got the new proof horizon bar and stem on there i've got the lower rise bars a 25 mil rise just because of the 180 forks on the 29 it feels adequate for me even though i like a pretty high front end then i've got some custom avs hand guards on there with the radical rick logo which i'm really really stoked on thanks for doing that for us um this bike set up with the new shram axis electronic gears and seat post and they're phenomenal it works so well you link it up to an app on your phone you can change how you have your gears set up um, it's really clever stuff got again i've got the um, mavic d max pro custom samuel wheels on here which is super trick looking i run a 30 tooth chain ring on a on the 29er um, matched up with a little mrp chain device to keep the chain on i've got one of chris kavarik's um, chain chain devices on there as well just going to give that a whirl got the michelin wild enduro tires front and rear in the magics compound and um, this is the bike i was going to be uh, racing some of the ews rounds on this year but unfortunately we're on hold with that at the moment and hopefully i'll get to ride this later on in the year um, did get to ride it at our team camp a couple of months ago and um, really loved the bike it was amazing hope you like it and then we've got definitely one of my favorite bikes right now. Um, for a while, I didn't, didn't really ride e-bikes at all. Didn't think I was gonna be that, that stoked on one or needing one, but um, yeah, now I've had a go on one, I absolutely love it. Um, this is the Vitus e-Summit. This is the lower uh, range bike, but I love the army green color of it. And obviously I've, uh, as you can see, I've tricked mine up with some really cool components that we get to use uh, running the team so i've upgraded the forks to some 180 lyrics um i've got some d max pro wheels on there from mavic some of the michelin wild enduro e-bike tires in 2.8 really big chunky tires and um, it's been great fun riding those really really enjoying this bike um i've put some high-rise bars on here i've got the sam hill 
38 mil rise with a 50 mil stem. This is a 275 bike because I've been riding a bit of 29, 29ers. Um, I've just raised the, the front end up on this a little bit so it feels more a little si more similar. But this bike's super playful, amazing. It's you know good at climbing, good at descending. The angles that they've got on the bike, they've got it spot on at Vitus. Um, yeah, really enjoying this bike and um, can't wait to get out on on some big mountains on it when we when we can. Hope you like it. And then I've got some really special bikes here um, to me. I grew up as a kid racing BMX and riding BMX as um, a lot of kids did in the 80s. We didn't have mountain bikes back then. We, we just kind of did everything on BMXs. Uh, I still like riding BMXs. Um, finding it harder and harder all the time because they're a lot, lot harder to ride than mountain bikes as you get older, I find. Um, but this is a really cool bike. This is a custom one-off nuke proof 20 inch bike um that i worked on with ali beckett when he used to ride for new uh, work for nuke proof and um we got this frame made it's super tricked out this bike and um, with some of the some of the components that i really like from all eras of the bmx world i've got some profile cranks on there with a really cool s m moto mag chain wheel that was a limited edition with the 4416 which is pretty standard for a bmx i've got some skyway graphites on here um, obviously these wheels were around in the 80s when i was racing and a lot of the top pros used to use these especially the graphite version i was able to get hold of a set of these um, when they relaunched them from skyway i've got some snm um, xlt race forks on there snm snm stem i've got a stay strong seat on there and i've put some uh, 2.1 comp 3 tyres on this bike at the moment because I've um, been riding it on the garden track which is pretty loose stuck some Thai Samil flat pedals on the bike just to finish it off and um, I think the black and yellow gold combo looks really cool hope you like it and last but not least is this super trick SE Racing Stuce Thompson replica str1 quad angle uh, 24 inch bmx um when i was a kid racing um a lot of the se guys used to race in quad angles and they were always super cool looking trick bikes uh, it's called a quad angle with the design of the frame it's quite um, a unique frame design um 4130 chrome molly se brought this bike back as a limited edition uh, last year in 24 inch wheel size I thought as soon as I saw it, I thought I need to get one of these. Um, it comes equipped with Redline flight cranks, which I had on my uh, BMXs as I was a kid. I was always a big fan of the Redline flight cranks. Again, I've got some Sam Hill um, tie flat pedals on there from Newt Proof, which is super cool. Um, I've upgraded the wheels in the same color scheme as the wheels that came on it, but I've got some gold profile hubs matched up with some gold box rims really nice really nice hubs and wheels make the bike look super cool it's got the original rad plate on there as you can see with a number i actually raced this bike um last month at the first uh, uk bmx national series at the manchester indoor um probably wasn't the lightest or fastest race bike but it definitely was the coolest looking bike there i think love this bike it looks amazing it's in the original um, baby blue colour scheme that SE had back in the day. I've upgraded the handlebars to some S&M cruiser bars and an S&M stem. Uh, it's got the stay strong seat on there. Um, put some profile chain tugs on there just to keep the back wheel in line. Um, but I've been riding this bike a lot. I did have some Skyway graphites on this bike, but um, the back one's pretty buckled and bent now and um so the, it's hard to get the brake lined up so i've put the uh the spoke wheels back on here uh, and as you can see i think it looks amazing this bike hope you like it so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed my little talk through some of my bikes i'm super lucky to have these bikes and um i can't wait to get out and ride them as soon as we can